Hey, how's everyone doing? I recently downloaded Final Fantasy XV to give it a try, and everyone's been talking about how there is no SLI support and the performance gains on certain machines are appalling, so I decided to take a look, see what I could do, and again, I haven't posted a video in almost two years now, so this is interesting. And uh, hopefully this is helpful to you guys and can help optimize the system for you so I'm gonna get straight to the point I will cover the SLI portion at the very end but until then uh, this is just gonna be how to make the game run smoothly on your system or try to get better frame rate on your system so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to options and it's gonna be set to um, default on under preset so if you go to preset it's probably gonna be set to average or low or high or whatever it is that you're um, running um, you're gonna want to take it off of average or whatever and set it to custom once you set it to custom the game will actually restart itself reset itself and um, you come back to the initial screen which is the Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition logo pop-up when you're back to this screen you need to go back to the option screen and you're gonna go down to where it says graphics again except this time there are a few things you need to note this area down here that was formerly grayed out because when you first do this it will be grayed out um, this area is now available for you to change certain settings the biggest setting the two biggest settings are the anti-aliasing if it was set at TAA change it to FXAA if it was set at FXAA or none there really isn't much of a bother because these two settings are practically null and void to the GPU. Um, very simple anti-aliasing method FXAA so if you turn it off you maybe gain one frame one or two frames. Um, most NVIDIA GPUs can handle this easily I'm not too sure about AMD. So definitely anti-aliasing is something you need to mess with or toggle depending on the settings. Another really hard hitter on your GPU is the model um, LOD and LOD stands for level of detail and just how far away you'll be able to see detailed models. Um, mine was set to average and I have a 980M so take with that some disparity if you have anything less than that so if you have say like a 960 you should be able to set this to average or low anything below a 960 on a GTX um, or a, a GeForce card, um, you're really going to want to have to keep this on low. This, combined with TAA, under the anti-aliasing, will save you about 20 frames. And I'm going to demonstrate all of this here in a second. So, what I'm going to do is I'm running on the single 980 card, and I'm not trying to push the SLI, because I can't force that while I'm in um, windowed mode. So I'm going to load the game. I haven't gotten very far. I've played maybe a few seconds. Load the game so you can see what I'm talking about and you can see how much of a difference the frame rate is augmented by those two settings. So, let's see. Oh, I think I was... Actually, before we go anywhere, let's turn on the under display, I believe, FPS counter. Alright, so at the top you have my frame rate, 66, 65, 68, 63, so it's, it's, it's struggling on the one card for right now, um, as there are less and less people, it uses less and less resources, so let's actually step out here, I'm going to go down to the options, go down to display, actually not display graphics and I'm gonna turn on anti-aliasing and set it to TAA and watch how my frame rate it's at 50 sorry it's at 85 86 that plummets down to 69 just turning on that one setting pushes it down to 60 now I'm in the 50s you see what I'm talking about and also creates this very weird blurring effect I definitely think this setting you can live without it you can definitely live without it. Um, so I just go down, disable FX, sorry, disable TAA and enable FXAA. 
The other setting is this um, LOD. If I set that to high, again, you see my frame rate drop just a little bit. Um, when you look out into the distance, 71, 72, graphics, and you set this to low, 80. Major difference, guys. So my recommendation, boot up the game, change the uh, settings, the default settings, turn off the default settings in um, under graphics, turn those off, set them to custom, and come back and disable the TAA, which is the anti-aliasing. The shadows, the lightning, and ambient occlusion can all be toggled left on average. Those are fine, depending on if it was already set that way by default, I would leave those as they are. And yeah, make sure hair works is disabled as well, because I think hair works is always turned on, because the hair looks way more detailed than it is on the console. That's just my observation. And I will cover the SLI in the other half of the video. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope this was helpful. See you later. Alright, if you're still watching, then this is the SLI component. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter your control panel. Very simple for you guys that don't know. There's another section called Program Settings. Under Program Settings, what you're going to want to do is, after it loads, if it takes an eternity to load, you're going to want to toggle on or off the um, ability for Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition. Sometimes it won't show up here. I have a few other things that do show up, like the benchmark and a few other add-ons and apps. What you're going to do is click Add, and you're going to add Windows 15, sorry, Windows 15, Final Fantasy 15, Windows Edition, to your list of programs that are editable in the Manage 3D settings. And then you're going to click on SLI Render Mode and change this to Force Alternate Rendering 2. Not one, force alternate rendering two. The issue with this is on certain machines, there is an extra um, line of code you need to enter because your cutscenes will be really jacked up and you'll have black screens. Um, there's an NVIDIA inspector profile you can add to this that will help correct that. But overall, this is what you're going to want to do. Again, it's under your NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings, program settings, scroll down to where it says Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition or add Final Fantasy 15 and yeah change SLI rendering mode to false uh, force alternate rendering or frame rendering too and that's it guys I hope this was really helpful for you I hope you guys are able to get the game running smoothly and I hope you have fun out there I'll catch you guys later peace